Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys how to use GetFlow from within source trees. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new repository. Perfect. So create a new repository. I'm going to add a file. I'm just going to use a text file for now because it'll be easy. Uh, text document. We'll just call this new.text. Perfect. So if we wait a second for a uh, source street update, there's my new file. I'll stage it, make an initial commit. All's well. I click commit. Now you'll see right, I have my master branch, and that's it. All right, so GitFlow uses multiple branches. And so I'm going to click on this GitFlow button up here, and it's going to then go ahead and install GitFlow for me. Um, I'm just going to leave all the defaults. Uh, for some reason, I have an issue in my version of source tree that these uh, entries right here, the feature release and hotfix, don't get entered into the config file correctly. I'll show you how to fix that. But uh, if you click on show full output, it shows you the commands that it's issuing. So you could go to the uh, git bash and enter the same commands, and you would get the same result. Sometimes this takes longer than others. Uh, I got a bunch of uh, Windows background processes chewing up my CPU. Ah, there we go. And the recording's taking up some CPU too, so. Now the problem is right here where it says feature branches for some reason whatever was in the dialog box is not getting entered there correctly. So uh, normally, and I'll show you in a minute, so, so now we created two branches. So we've got master and develop and we're on develop. If I click this it should ask me if I want to start a new feature or release and instead it says oh do you want to finish a feature and the feature once we finish is developed. So that's not what I want. And it has to do with those values not getting entered. So I'm going to go to my repository to the git directory and I'm going to edit this config file. You can do a notepad or whatever you want, but what I need to do is go down to these lines and type in, I think it's forward slash feature, or sorry, feature slash. And here I want bug fix slash release slash I'll do hot fix and support too even though I don't really use those and I leave the version tag empty and then I'll uh, hold on quit all right cool now I shouldn't even have to restart source tree if I click on the git flow button now I should see this menu which says, ask me if I want to start a new feature, a release, or a hotfix. I mostly use features and releases, so that's what I'm going to show you. So, uh, part of GitFlow, right, master is, holds all your releases, develop is where your latest and greatest with any finished features is are located, and so clicking on start new feature will create a new branch for a feature. I'll call this my new feature. If you're using uh, bug tracking or something or issue tracking, you might want to like link that to uh, the number or name of an issue in your issue tracker. Uh, here it shows you in the preview what it's going to do. It's going to create a new branch called feature slash my feature and it's creating it from develop. And you can branch off of a different uh, spot if you want. But typically, just start off the latest develop, boom, that starts your new feature. And again, you can see all the stuff that it, all the commands that it's sending. So if you're into the git bash, you can uh, see what it's doing. All right. So now you'll notice I've got develop, master, and my new feature. They all point to the same commit. I'm going to go. So I wrote that to the file. Okay, great. I'm going to go back to source tree. 
add my new add my changes to my file okay great see I've got uncommitted changes I'm gonna commit those right I'm on my feature branch and I don't want to add that oops I just want to I clicked on stage all didn't I I just want to stage that one uh, added something now I'm gonna do two commits just because for whatever reason if you do just one commit on your feature branch the way the git flow script works underneath it just m does a fast forward merge if you do more than one then it doesn't do the fast forward so just keep that in mind uh, typically my features re require more than one branch anyway so it's not really a big deal now I'm gonna uh, why did I do that, that. Uh, I just want to click this and add something else Actually, I didn't. Uh, I should have just left that open. Anyway, all right. So now I have my uh, next change. Right, stage it again. And why did I click all? That was dumb. All right. So now stage my new text file. Commit it. Add something else. Now if I go over here to my history, look at the graph, right? My master and developer still here on the initial commit. I've had two things to my feature. Now I decide I'm done with my feature. So I click on git flow, finish feature. Uh, it will automatically merge it back into the correct branch. So I have to remember what gets merged into where. It's going to merge into develop. Uh, you generally want to delete the branch when you're done. You can tell it to rebase if you want. Uh, I usually just leave it like that. And then I click OK. And it takes a few seconds. And again, you can see there's a command line uh, option just to do it all from the command line if you want. Sorry that my computer is so slow at the moment. I blame Windows, although it looks like it's the recording that's causing this to slow down. But anti-malware service executable is still doing something. I don't really know what. And apparently I'm not allowed to stop it. All right, and you can see it tells you what it did. Summary, right? Feature branch, my new feature was merged and developed. My new feature is locally deleted, and now put me back on develop. So now you can see master is way back here at initial commit. Here's a branch where I did two things. And then here I merged it back in, and here it tells you what the name of the branch was. All right, so if you ever want to see what were these things here, what branch was that? Oh, you just go to where it was merged. Oh, it was my new feature. Perfect. Now let's say I can do all that again a couple times, right? I get a bunch of things on my development. I decide, hey, I want to make a release. I want to build my software and, and release it, and I want to tag that on master. How do I do that? Uh, I click on Git Flow again. And this time it says clicking Start New Feature. I click Start New Release. And I always give the release name exactly what I'm going to tag it as when I'm done. If you do that, the default it works out. All right, that you don't have to set anything up, it just automatically tags it. So I name my release V1.0. Generally, you want to do it off the latest development branch. You can do it off of different things if you want. Uh, it gives you a preview of what's going to happen. Click OK. Again, it takes a little while. And here I'm going to open this and uh, 
Uh, why did that not save? Hold on. There we go. Now it saved it. Now I can go over here. It should update that I have a new file. I'll just add that one. So say I update build the number. Yeah, maybe you do all this automatically or whatever, but you know, you do some prep work to get your thing ready to build. Maybe you also update release notes. Ah, I hit. Uh. All right, that saved that. Go back here. Did save that. Yeah, there we go. Shows up again. Okay. Now I updated my release notes. Committed again. So now if we go to our history, right? So we have our master. We did a couple things on our feature branch, merged back in. Decided we wanted to start a release. Update the build number, update some release notes. And then uh, I'm just going to click on Git Flow again. And it should come up and ask me to finish the release. I click OK. Uh, if you just click OK and don't do anything else, it will tag master after it merges into master with the, the name of your release, in this case, v1.0. Uh, I think you can override that and give it other things if you play with these options. I just always do the default, and it works really well. Um, generally, Finish release, I often push the changes to the remote because you're going to want to do that. But other than that, I just click OK. And again, you can click on uh, Show Full Output so it'll show you what's going on. Uh, I'm not sure what the slash the dash f means there, or why it's got that temp file, but uh, you can probably go look through the documentation for the git flow command line tool and figure out what that means. Anti malware service executable, huh? Takes up space on my computer and doesn't do anything useful. Sounds like malware to me. Alright. <coughs> so now it's doing uh, all its stuff. Right, The release branch was merged into master. It was tagged. And then it was also back merged into develop. And then it got deleted and put me back on develop. So now if I look at my history. Uh, uncommitted changes is from this little file here, not a big deal. So basically, uh, now, right, you can see that from where my develop was when I merged my feature in, created the release branch, updated the build number, updated the release notes, merged it into master first, tagged it, and then merged that back into develop. And so that's the easy way to do git flow without having to remember what branch you're on and where to go and all this stuff, you just kind of use the git flow button in source stream. It works really well. So hopefully you all enjoyed that.